Hello guys, this is Acer Soldier and welcome to Medieval Architects. I'm going to do a small tutorial with you guys on how to build a small market stall because I've been requested about it for a little while and I just felt like I needed to do a video for you guys so let's get right to it. Um, let's start out with like this platform right now and just put the logs um, like so and try to add all this cobblestone wall on top of this here too like so and make sure you put your fence here and make sure you put a log that's pointing out towards you here that'll be where the custodian or whoever works there whoever sells their market goods and stuff there that's where he'll be handing out the supplies and we'll be putting the fence there just to add a little detail and once you're done doing that go ahead and get whatever colors of wool at your market or that your kingdom colors will be and don't forget to add detail to this because it's a huge concept and something you really do need to add in here you need to add like your greenery and just randomization in general just to add a huge great deal of atmosphere into your build and when you're done doing that um, make sure that if you guys would like to see any more tutorials in the future just let me know what you guys would want to see and not only that, like if you guys would really, really, really want to see uh, tutorials, like longer tutorials and stuff, I'll see if I can get some sort of camcorder. We can like do some longer videos later on. But right now, this is what we're going to have to deal with. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But uh, anyway, if you guys would like to see a tutorial for um, something small right now, I'd be more than happy to do that as well. But now we're getting to the point where we need to start adding detail to this. So don't forget to add like your vines, greenery and stuff because that really does add on atmosphere to your build. And for me, I use two different types of leaves. It really does help out. It varies the greenery and the build a little bit because it's actually put between two different biomes. It really does depend on the biome that you're in though, of what types of leaves that you should use, in my opinion. But um for just some detail to add on here make sure you get some signs fences uh flower pots and add like different things in the flower pot flower pots here and there maybe some pressure plates to make it look like they tried to patch up the roof when there was holes and they didn't have enough money to add that in there um something that'd be a really great thing to add on is to add some like cobwebs or something just to give it the feel that insects or something you know lives up there it really uh add like a natural environment to it as well not just the bushes and the vines but just the sense that there has been spiders there or something in general that would give it that feel of uh, atmosphere for your build but on top of that you want to add your buttons and stuff too because it's just a small little thing that you can add on like every small thing is a great add-on for detail and you want to make sure you use as much of that as you can but um <clears throat> yeah now that we're done with this part make sure you add your flower pots and stuff on here too you want to make sure you get like maybe some mushrooms flowers some saplings because those are some really good things to add on here too for a good build but make sure you place them here here maybe usually in your corners would probably be the best place to put them because they stand out the most in corners but you never know it, i mean it's you gotta do it randomization stuff that's what it's all about you gotta really randomize your builds and stuff in order for it to look really good for medieval that's one uh... major thing in medieval is randomization is just a huge concept concept you have to keep but uh... once you're done doing that make sure you add just your fences and stuff as well almost forgot about that when we when i first did this but um, you really 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 want to add that on here just for random things. I mean, it, it could be whatever that you want to add on here for just random detail and stuff to make it look like it's been patched up or they had to do certain things to keep it together. But once you're done doing that, we're going to go inside this market stall and we're going to just add a bunch of random stuff that they would probably sell, like, you know, your, your melons and lemons and pumpkins and stuff. But uh, I use a little bitty green mob head and I try to hide the face for it to resemble like a small like watermelon or something that hasn't really grown all the way to its full life but um once you're done doing that just add some bookshelves maybe some chests here and there craft bench and whatever else but this has been part one to this video and i will see you guys back in part two so this is medieval architects and extra soldier and i'll see you guys in the next one